Hello everyone, Glideman here. So we're going to work more on the differential pilot uh, today as well. Um, so today we're going to deal with the speeds that the robot is moving. Um, and that's the travel speed and the rotating speed. Um, so, let's just say we want to have our robot uh, go fast the 12 inches that it's driving forward, and then slow as it's arcing around uh, the 90 degrees on the 12 inch radius. Um, we're actually going to just comment out one of these for now, uh, just to make it a little bit easier, and to show you the other uh, the rotating speed. So up here, we can say, well, not quite that high. Uh, we'll bump down here, right below this drive dot travel and rotate, so that we can leave that in there at the original speed that the robot goes at. So we'll do a pilot and then dot, and then we want to set the travel speed, and the travel speed is in the units that you used. Uh, up here to configure this. So we used it in inches. So uh, we're going to set the travel speed in inches per second. Um, let's go with something like four. Um, I believe that should be a little bit slower than uh, typical, I guess. Uh, but we'll just leave it like that. And so. Uh, we're going to transfer this uh, value of 4 up here into a global variable as we're going to be using it multiple times. So we're going to just create an integer and we're going to say fast travel speed. And that's just what our uh, variable is that we're going to reference it as. So we're just going to make that 4. Double click this to select it. Do Command C on Mac, Control C on Windows. And then we paste that in, Command V on Mac, Control V on Windows. And so now we can have our setting the travel speed to that. Now we're also going to make another integer, and we're going to call it slow travel speed. And we're just going to assign that to 2. So it's going to be, uh, with our comment here, it's going to be inches per second. And down here, let's see here. We're going to bump into our slow travel speed when we do the arc. Again, this is mostly just for demonstration purposes, um, not really any practical use, but um, I think this would be useful to learn. Um, so we're going to use the pilot and then the set the travel speed. And then we're going to, uh, actually, you can see right there it's automatically detected that there's some integers that can be used in there. And uh, while it wants a double, an integer will work perfectly fine. So we're setting the travel speed to the slow one. We're going to arc, and then we're going to set the travel speed back to the fast. So that's just a quick little example of where we can set the travel speed uh, for our typical traveling, and then we can jump it uh, around to our slow, and then arc, and then back up to our fast. So now we're going to use the setting the rotation speed. So that's going to be a very similar method call. We're going to use our pilot dot set rotate speed, and that's going to be in degrees up per second. And that should be how fast uh, the rotate method basically works. So if we had set this to 45, that means that it will take two seconds for it to rotate these 90 degrees. And we're just going to stick with it like that. Do Command S to save, Control S on Windows, and, or using the floppy drive icon up there. And then we just go to our drop down, and then we run project. That'll compile it. 
and then it will say that it creates the jar file successfully and uh, well in my case it's saying that the ev3 is not found on yours with your ev3 plugged in um, it'll properly show up and download to the ev3 so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye